Welcome to 3SP106-345 Transformer Relay Module. In this module, we're going to cover these topics. Hardware, Actual Values, Quick Setup, System Setup, Percent Differential, Instantaneous Differential, and Restricted Ground Fault. In the hardware portion, we're going to introduce front panel LEDs and AC inputs. 345 relay has all the LED starters of 350 relay. There are two differences. First, the maintenance is moved below the pickup. Second, the breaker control and the closed starters are duplicated for two windings. 345 relay is the only 3 series relay has 8 CT inputs and no VTs. The terminals D5 to E8 are the same as 350 and 339 used for current inputs. D9 to E12 are used for second winding current inputs instead of voltage inputs. This 8 CT inputs requires individual settings for two windings in current sensing, breakers, and breaker failures. For the protection IOC, TOC element, there's one extra option for the winding CT inputs. Apart from this, all the rest settings in the breaker fun configuration breaker failures, and IOC, TOC elements are the same as in 350 relay, which was covered in the previous modules. We will not repeat them in this 345 module. In the actual value part, we will introduce the transformer specific metered values, the differential current, thermal capacity, as well as fault report under record. Differential current is under actual values, metering, and transformer differential currents. The differential current and the restraint current of three phase are displayed, even when percent differential function is disabled. The differential current is calculated per phase as a vector sum of currents from both winding after magnitude and phase angle compensation. The restraint current is calculated as maximum of the same internally compensated currents. The second and fifth harmonic are also displayed for each phase to accommodate the inrush inhibit function and overexcitation inhibit function. Transformer thermal capacity shows three phase thermal capacity. Its calculation is identical with cable thermal model of 350 feeder relays. And there is also the relevant protection of the thermal capacity for the transformer thermal overload. And the setting is identical with 350 feeder relay. 345 really has a fault report which captures measured analog signals at the time of the trip. The fault report stores only the last recorded values in relay's non-volatile memory. The fault report has two settings, fault record trigger and fault record delay. The high state of the selected fault trigger operand will trigger the fault report. The default setting is any trip. The time delay setting is provided for selection of time to override any subsequent triggers following the first trigger and prevent lasting information from the record. When this time delay elapses, the fault record can be updated if new trip exists. The record value is under actual values fault report. The fault report header includes the following information. 
Billy Models, Device Name, Former Revision, a Date and a Time of the Trigger, Activated uh, Time of Trigger, Measured Analog Signals. The fault report runs continuously, capturing and storing the last trip in non volatile memory where the information is maintained if the relay control power is lost. In the quick setup part, we'll introduce parameters included in the quick setup. In the quick setup, we can set up these parameters the status of the relay, nominal frequency, and uh, current sensing for winding one and two phase and ground, the transformer types, and the transformer MVA, nominal voltage, and uh, type of the grounding for both winding one and two, protection element for the transformer percent differential, and the TOC, IOC, ground TOC and ground IOC. In the system setup, we'll set up these parameters. Current sensing, transformer and winding one and two breakers. To set up the system setup, we go to set points, system setup, and first we'll set up the current sensing. In this example, we're going to use 500 for the winding one, face and the ground CT primary. For the winding two, we're going to use a thousand for the face and the ground CT primary. In order to perform the appropriate current composition, all windings CT must be connected in Y with polarity marking point away from the transformer. Next, we're going to set up the transformer. We're going to use these parameters for the nominal capacity. We're going to set 100 MVA. And for the transformer vector group, we're going to use DY30. And for the phase compensation, we're using internal software compensation. For the nominal voltage for the winding one, we set to 230 kilovolts. And grounding not within the zone for the winding two, we're going to use 69 volts. And for the grounding, we set within the zone. For this uh, CT type, once it's selected, 345 really will calculate the compensation for magnitude and phase shift. Winding one current is used as reference for the current magnitude compensation. The delta or zigzag current are used as the phase shift reference to perform the phase shift compensation. When default YY connection is selected, then the current from the first Y winding are used as reference for the phase shift compensation. For the more detailed uh, compensation calculation, please refer to FMPR 214 or FMPR 2005. And last, we're going to configure the winding one and two breakers. For the Winding one breaker, we can only use contact input one and two for the 52A and B switch. We cannot use contact input three for the breaker connected. We have to use starting from contact input five. So we set to breaker uh, connected as input five. For the second winding, we can only use contact input three and four for the 52A and B connected and for the connected we're going to set the 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4 used for the 52A and B contacts of the 
breaker winding one and two, then five and six for the breaker one and two connected. And uh, that's all the system configuration used for the transformer configuration. Now we will config percent differential protection. Person differential is under set points protection group one and transformer percent differential. First, we need to set up the function to be trip, and the first setting minimum pickup is the setting defines the minimum differential current required for operation. This setting is selected based on the amount of differential current that might be seen under normal condition. In this case, we're going to set to 0 0.17. Slope 1 defines the ratio of differential and restrained current until breakpoint 1, above which the element will operate. Slope is set to ensure sensitivity of internal faults at normal transformer loading. In this example, we set to 23%. And for the break point 1 setting is used corresponding to the maximum of linear operation of the CT, counting up to 80% remnant flux in the core of the CT. We're going to set to 1.668 for this setting. And for the breakpoint 2 corresponds to the smallest fault current with no DC offset that can cause a CT to saturate. The breakpoint 2 can be set to 8.34 in this case. And slope 2 sh should be high enough to override the differential current caused by CT saturation. We're going to use default 95%. And the other settings for the inrush inhibit, we can select the second harmonic and use the 20% the default. And for the inhibit mode, we get uh, per phase two out of three and average. For the over excitation inhibit, we can set this to use fifth harmonic and we're going to use 10% of the levels. Once these uh, settings are entered, the characteristic can be plotted on the right side of the screen. So we can see that uh, theoretical slope and with slope 1 and 2 and also the breakpoint 1 and 2. In the logic diagram, the typical phase operation is based on slope, then actual slope is greater than the setting slope really will operate. This percent differential is blocked by the second harmonic and fifth harmonics. Next, we will config instantaneous Differential protection. Instantaneous differential protection is not biased protection and operate in a fashion similar to instantaneous overcurrent protection. Inputs to this protection are computed on the basis of really perfect differential currents. Operation occurs if the values of any computed phase differential currents is above the instantaneous differential pickup setting. Instantaneous differential protection is usually set to operate during high fault current situation. Its pickup setting is selected to be higher than the maximum inrush current during transformer energization and higher than the through fault current, but lower than maximum internal fault current. In this example, we set the function to trip and the pickup up level to 10 times CT. In the logic diagram of instantaneous differential current, the operation is only based on the pickup level, there's no restrained current and slope settings, etc.
Lastly, we'll config 87 RGF restricted ground fault. Restricted ground fault RGF protection provides ground fault detection for low magnitude ground fault current, primarily for the ground fault close to the neutral point of the Y connected winding. 345 implementation of the restricted ground fault protection is a low impedance current differential scheme. 345 calculates the magnitude of ground differential current as a difference between the vectors of computed residual current and the measured ground current, and applies a restrained current defined as a maximum measured line current to produce a percent slope value. In the logic diagram, RGF operation is based on the slope values, which was calculated with I ground differential and I max of three phase current. I ground differential is a vector sum of three phase residual current and I ground current. Now let's recap what we learned in this module. 345 provides a very cost effective differential solution for distribution transformers as well as backup protection for primary substations. Its front panel LEDs will show the status of two winding breakers. Its 8CT inputs make all the IOC and TOC protection available for winding 1 and winding 2. 345 offers advanced algorithm for automatic magnitude and phase compensation for more than 20 types of two winding transformers. The percent differential protection is based on a proven algorithm of unique dual slope and dual breakpoint differential and restraint characteristic. Second harmonic are provided for inrush inhibit and fifth provided for overflux inhibit. It's Restricted ground fault element can detect ground fault down to 5% of the transformer winding. And that concludes this 3SP-106-345 transformer relay protection.